you guys had a few Actually, it was us. We, we created the opportunities for them. We took uh, what I would say were very challenging shots, and we took them like right in a row. And uh, that was the opposite of what we should have been doing. We should have been a little more patient, should have been, been uh, working the ball around a little bit more, and instead we rushed and uh, we talked about it right after the game in the locker room, and hopefully we've learned a lesson from it. Early season jitters, playing in front of a... No, I mean, it was, we had the lead. I, mean, I wouldn't say we were, what was the score, like 55, 54 or something? Lead 59, 57. So at 59, 57, and, uh, and that's, that's when we started going off, started going one-on-one, -on -one and uh, that, that was clearly the turning point. How about uh, Ryan? He got in some foul trouble in the first half. Ryan and Mike immediately got in foul trouble. But I, but I was pleased with uh, uh, Jonathan Allridge and, and uh, Johnny Williams. I thought they came in and, and did a nice job. So, um, you know, it was a close game at half. We were down seven. Uh, but I thought with as many points as being, being scored, what we were going to need to do is just uh, figure out a way to defend them a little bit better. They, they can score. How important was it to get it to seven points there? I, I think you guys went on a little bit of a run there at the end of the first half. Well, I, I think um, any time you're behind, the larger the lead, the more stress it puts on you. Because you got to figure out how to erase that lead. And as time dwindles down, the fewer minutes you have, the tougher it is. But at halftime, down seven, it's, it's really only two or three possessions. We needed to make some defensive adjustments, which we did. And I thought our defense uh, for the first 10 to 12 minutes of the second half was pretty good.